Sir, Christ! Hold on. You two been? I've exhausted almost all of the station's confiscated cigarettes waiting for you two to get your candy asses in my office! Apologies, sir. It's fine. You don't have time to make it up to me fully now, so just give me the rundown! The rundown of what? Oh, right. Yeah, some coin has killed my brother! Jesus. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Well, of course. He was my only brother. Now it's just me and Clive left. Anyway, what's the, uh, uh who did it? Uh... Well, you haven't given us um, oh, a brief... Oh! Yeah, of course. Um, right. Someone shot him in the head, or, or body, in a car park, maybe? In a car park, yeah. And we found a gun and a bullet, and they were both on fire. No, just the one was on fire. No, they were both on fire, and they met... I don't really know. Look, I wasn't listening to uh, Sergeant Dow's report because I was, um, um, I was screaming in grief uh, through most of it. So, that just... Look, I'm... Oh, fuck it. oh, who did it? Who did it? Well, we still don't know, sir. That shifty bastard. Uh, well, have you got any leads? Uh, aside from a gutted evidence, this all burnt up, and um, some CCTV footage. Um, I'm afraid not, sir. Uh, well, should we investigate? Um, yeah, yeah, go do that because um, how uh, asses are on the grill, and you're running out of charcoal. <laughs> What do you want, Powell? Well, you've barely said a word to me today. We didn't do our normal post-Fandango rundown. You walked past three of the secretaries and only commented on one of them. Hell, they've appointed a new female DI and your complaints barely lasted eight minutes. Look, Powell, I don't need you trying to get into my head like that whack job psychiatrist I had to talk to. Look, Murdoch. If we don't communicate, oh, Murdoch. If you keep going the way you're going, you're going to end up in hospital like that psychiatrist. Bastard whack job. Murdoch. No man likes showing emotions. But sometimes you just got to share them. Murdoch. Look, what have I told you? I don't have any emotions. I'm a man. And I'm going to go. Before I express my anger with violence. Murdoch, <clears throat> you've forgotten me again. Oh! Jesus is us. Shirley? Well, what will she be back? Well, tell her I'm out of cigarettes. And uh, whiskey. I've also added whiskey. Oh. <coughs> Sir. Socks and pants! How long have you been there? About five minutes, sir. So you saw... Yes. And when I... Oh, yes. You can even yeah. say anything. Yeah. Hmm. What, what do you want? Well, sir, it's, it's Murdoch, sir. He drove off without me and dumped his walkie. Oh, sir, I need someone else on the case. Oh! I think he's gone AWOL. Oh, perfect, I'll do it. Yes, good idea. Well, about that, sir, you see, I was thinking maybe one of the other detectives... Of course! <laughs> Who better to avenge my brother than me? Yeah, 
Yes, this is perfect. Now, where's my gun? Okay, so I'll do the talking. This is a sensitive informant and he's not gonna like seeing you here. Why? Because I'm Jewish? What? Why, why would I mean... For a start, you're not Jewish. Do you think you're Jewish? Well, I, I broke a glass at one of my weddings. Look, maybe you just stay here for the moment. If I need backup, I'll signal. Gotcha. What's the signal? Uh, I'll do this. Mazel tov. <clears throat> Machete. It's better not be a setup. Deal's a deal. You give me info, I look the other way. So, where's your boyfriend? Hey man, how did you know it was a one-time thing? You know how much stretch they come? Oh, Murdoch. <clears throat> he wasn't assigned to this case. Have a love is stiff, eh? Just get on with the deal. Impatient today. Trying to make up for something. What? You're doing his part. Being the backup. You know, normally you're the uh, calm one and he's the tough one. I think you might be reading a little bit too much into this machete. Yeah, we just, you know, do as we're told. It wasn't like we were sitting down and deciding our roles or anything. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. I'm bad cop. You're good cop. Right, so that means I'm the calm one. You're the tough one. Yeah! Just get on with the deal. Fine. I think the guy you're looking for, his name's Jack. He's a gambler. Criminal. Look for someone who's in debt. He'll be your guy. How am I meant to find him? That's not part of the deal. Just tell me, you scumbag! Do it, pal! Got it! Uh, Wait, you shot him? What on earth did you do that for? You uh, gave the signal. I provided backup. I was just about to get information from him. No, I didn't. Yeah, you uh... Oh, Christ! Come on, let's go. You've aroused suspicion now. Come on, let's get... How do I find Jack? I don't know. Terry will know. Thanks. Gosh, Terry. Come on, let's go. Get me Jack. Please hold. Jack, I couldn't go through with it. I, I paid my debt when I killed Fandango's brother. Murdoch, this is how our deal works. Well, that's not how I work. Look, I'll make sure they don't find anything. There's got to be another way. Jack? Motherfucker. I want you to make this fella disappear. Yes, I mean kill him. Why do you ask every single time? Let's go find the mole. He usually knows something. Pal, I think we both know who we're looking for. At some point he's gonna snap. There's only so many wives one man could lose. He only really left a couple of them. Look, we always knew it's gonna be a possibility. 
With the amount of wars the guy's fought in, he's got to be spattered in the head. He's fought in conflicts I've not even heard of, okay? So he's been living with death his whole life, and he snaps. I don't think it's that unlikely. He's not crazy. Murdoch would not kill your brother unless he was... forced. Of course! Jack is behind this, not Murdoch. Pal. Look, you've got 24 hours to solve this, otherwise I'm putting a warrant out for Murdoch. We can't ignore it for any longer. We're the police force, not the government. You have no evidence. All we know is he won't work the case. They radioed me while you were talking to Terry. They found his prints on the gun, pal. He wouldn't. He just... It was a plant. <laughs> That's what it was. A plant! You've got 24 hours, pal. How the hell did you know? Well, when Fandango left, I waited for you to show. So you knew I was following you? Well, you were driving your car. But how did you know about the sniper? Ah, well, I saw a guy with a rifle aiming at your car and kind of figured that couldn't be good. Uh, so coincidence. What now? Well, we need to talk, and I need a drink. You got beer? What do I look like? A priest? Yes, I've, yes, I've got beer. Yes. Here. Cheers. Look, pal. You're gonna ramble on about a whole bunch of feelings to me again. Save your breath. You remember what happened to the last guy who tried that? Hospital? Hospital. Mm. I want to ask you a question. And I want you to answer right. it honestly. For the last time, Powell, no, I don't like musicals. I'm neither a woman nor a homosexual. But I will admit, I have seen a bit of West Side Story, but that's because I like gangs. Yes, yeah. no, 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 no. It's nothing to do with that. I want to know if you killed Bandango. <laughs> Bandango's dead?! I was referring to his brother. Why'd you call him Fandango then? Because they have the same surname. But they were married? No, they were related. Uh, just, just, just answer the question. Yes! <sighs> yes. What? Yes, I killed him. I had no choice. There's always a choice. I relapsed. Crack again? Jesus, Murdoch, I went to all those meetings with you, and you even said- Not crack! Gambling! And a little bit of crack. It's very Moorish. And how does that exactly make you kill Fandango? Oh, Fandango's dead?! Right, right, brothers, sorry, sorry. I lost a bet. And Jack isn't the kind of guy you don't pay up to. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Murdoch, they, they found a gun. They have your prints. You're a police officer. How could you be so careless? It's crack cocaine. It's an excited. This crack. is bad, Murdoch. Well, we can fix this. Oh, it's we again now. Oh, God damn it, pal! Stop making like such a woman. No. 
You walked out. You assumed that I wouldn't help you, but I helped you kick crack, and I didn't tell a soul. So why would I tell now? It's complicated. No. No, it's not. And we are going to fix this, you and me. But you need to promise me one thing. Do you want to do it again? Crack on murder. But, but gambling's fine. Fine. Now come on. I've got a plan. Murdoch. Jack's territory. The mission, find him, arrest him. What about the guards? They're taken care of. Okay, you, that way. One, two, three. I've got to be honest, I expected more. I mean, the great Murdoch and Powell. Just a little bit of jeopardy. And it all falls apart. You must know by now that he was the one who killed Fandango's brother. I mean, it's a real shame, but you've got to pay your Debts. He was no police officer, really. Too much murder and crack. I knew it'd be easy to break. I didn't expect him to abandon you. Just kicked you to the curb. <coughs> like one of his wives. You're wrong. What? <laughs> You're wrong about Murdoch. He didn't run. I think we're gonna need to check your head. <laughs> Because I can't see him around here, anywhere. <laughs> Coming in, boys. Let's finish him. Any last words? You got a right to remain silent, mother flipper. I 
think that this probably means my debt is settled. You'll pay for this. The next time that you see me will be down the barrel of my gun. I find that hard to believe. You see, where you're going, I don't think we're going to be seeing each other for a very long time. Yeah, see you at hell, scumbag. Oh, oh, shit! Why would you do that? She said to. No, we didn't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Except we're never going to see him again. That's because... That's because he was going to prison. You can visit people in prison. <laughs> Why would we visit him in prison? Well, I guess I misunderstood. Oh, what are we going to do now? Go back to the station? Hang on, you just executed a man without trial. That's illegal. I'm the chief of police. I can pretty much do whatever the hell I want. Right, back to driving. <sighs> I was signing you guys to this case. It's a, an unsolved murder associated with a crack ring in the area. We've never been able to solve it because none of our detectives have never been able to get in before. But I think you two might have the uh, required skills to do so. What makes you think that we can do it? Well, pal told me about your crack addiction. I never told you that. Well, told. I heard it on a bug that we have in your house. Potato, potato. Call it, Powell. The man's got a point. Fandango, does the name The Crack Gang ring a bell? What are the same? This is perfect. You're gonna get in there, and you know, we're finally gonna crack the case! A toast! To friends! To friends! To colleagues! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Alright! Oh. Mm. oh! Now you two, <laughs> crack on! <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you for all you've done. I'd hug you, but I don't want you to get the wrong idea. So, uh, put it there. <laughs>